So Peter, after a remarkable price surge, Bitcoin is falling back below the 11,000 uh, right now. So was it too early to call it uh, the next bull run? Oh, no, I don't think so. I, you know, just because we're correcting, uh, the, the, you know, Bitcoin has a, uh, it has a record of correcting. If you look back to the price history of Bitcoin, I think there's been four or five times when Bitcoin's had an 80% correction from a high. You know, we've, we've barely come off uh, uh, 20% here. So, yeah, I, we're still in a, in a bull market. We just got ahead of ourselves. Now everybody's freaking out that the market's somehow topped out, and perhaps it has topped out for the time being. But uh, I still see Bitcoin as, as very possibly in another parabolic bull market just because we've had a one or two day correction. Uh, that really doesn't mean anything. You can go back in the Bitcoin's history and find out all kinds of uh, 30 to 50 percent corrections within a bull trend. So I think this thing will work itself out. We could correct back to perhaps 9,000. 9,000 is the level that I've kind of had in mind as a level where, where I want to be a buyer somewhere over 9,000. So I think between 8,700 and 9,500 would be a reasonable correction uh, that we could see. And, and that would, I believe, be a buying opportunity. Okay. So you also said a few days ago that Bitcoin uh, is experiencing its fifth parabolic phase since 2010. And that's what makes Bitcoin a market like no other. Um, what did you mean exactly by that? Well, I mean, we just, you can go back into the history of, of uh, tradable markets. Uh, where we have various assets that can be traded, whether they be equities or commodities or interest rates or, or cryptos, uh, where we've had, uh, we've had Bitcoin from the 2010 low advance into the, the 2017 high uh, by more than 8,000 fold. Uh, it, it, there is no other market like that. There is no other market where you can see parabolic advances a series of parabolic advances on a log chart. It's hard to find a, a, a stock such as Apple or uh, Netflix or Amazon that's had a parabolic advance on the log chart. You can find parabolic advances on uh, arithmetic charts. You cannot find them on log charts, but yet on Bitcoin, we've had a series of parabolic phases on log scale. Uh, that have taken place. And we've seen since the 2010 low, Bitcoin advanced more than 8,000 fold. Uh, there's no other market like that. You can't find another market like that in modern times. As a matter of fact, I tried to find a market that was similar that had that kind of a similar advance. The only market I could find was German interest rates during the 1920s. And so but Bitcoin's really quite uh, quite an unprecedented market. One can maybe point to the altcoins, but hey, the altcoins wouldn't exist if it wasn't for Bitcoin. That's the reality. Bitcoin is crypto and crypto is Bitcoin. And the coming to altcoins, I saw that you recently claimed on uh, your Twitter, Twitter handle that like people that are expecting light, um, altcoins to follow the um, Bitcoin in the next bull run might be delusional. Why do you think so? Well, I think there's just a lot of scam out there. There's a lot of shammy altcoins. Perhaps there are some altcoins that will have traction. But Bitcoin is, is the gold standard. Uh, you know, most of these altcoins, look, they're out there because some fast buck artist wanted to make some money in the crypto space. They don't have really any meaningful purpose to exist. There are a few of them that are niche coins, but they're niche coins. Uh, you know, mainly these altcoins serve the purpose of market speculation and raising money for people who did the ICOs. You know, I, I fully anticipate that 99% of the altcoins will end up being worthless. You know, uh, but of course, everybody who has their pet altcoin claimed that their pet altcoin will not be one of the 99%. Uh, but the reality is 99% or more covers an awful lot of, uh, lot of uh, altcoin. If you had to give a piece of advice to young uh, crypto traders in this moment of particular um, uncertainty, I would say, uh, due to high volatility, what, 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 could, what could that advice be? 
Uh, if you if you're buying more uh, than you can handle, if the market corrects fifty percent, you're buying too much. You know, buy, buy if you really believe in the long term narrative of Bitcoin, which I think. Uh, the millennial generation, by and large, believes in the long-term narrative of Bitcoin. And so, it, you know, the proper position is to own some, but to own some that you'd be willing to ride to zero. And, you know, if you can't ride what you own to zero, then you own too much. And so own something and then take advantage of significant price breaks like we've had to add to that ownership position. Don't be buying on these huge $2,000 up days. That's the wrong time to be forcing yourself into buying a position. You know, buy it when it's the right time to buy it, and then don't buy it otherwise. Don't get caught up into the emotion of, of advances. You know, buy it when it's smart to buy it. When it was smart to buy it was back when Bitcoin was at least under forty five hundred dollars, if not under four thousand. To be buying Bitcoin at thirteen thousand and trying to make a wise decision at thirteen thousand to me just doesn't make sense. Coin Telegraph, like, subscribe, and hodl.